Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm gonna to be recreating this look that I found on Pinterest. I have become a Pinterest addict as of recently. I've never been your typical Pinterest girl. I've never been a pinner. I mean, I've always had a Pinterest, but I've never been like super, super into it. But with the wedding being in June and I have no idea what I'm doing and I find that a lot of women, especially my age, like to pin on Pinterest and have inspiration boards and I find them inspirational. I have recently become a Pinterest fanatic, especially for the wedding, but also while searching through wedding stuff, I found a lot of makeup inspiration. So I found this eye look, super smoky, as you can see, it's a cat eye with a little opening underneath where there's no liner, but very smoked out. The makeup artist is Marina underscore Mibonia. Um, I will link her Instagram handle down below. That is the artist who created this and was the inspiration for today's video. This is my spin on the look. It's a full face tutorial. I show you guys how I do the eyes, the face and everything. So if you are interested before we get into it, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on that bell button. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. Without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my recreation of this all Awesome bronzy smoky eye video. I did prep my skin. I put moisturizer on. I had my eye cream on, a serum. I did the whole shebang. I will put everything down below. I did fill my brows in. That's the only thing I've done makeup wise. And I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm gonna go on with some concealer. I'm gonna take the Koki Illuminating Be Bright Concealer and I'm just gonna put this down on top of the lids. I'm starting off with the eyes because I'm gonna be using dark shadows. We're gonna be smoking out a lot of wings and Lord knows sometimes I can't get my wing down. So I'm just patting this into the skin. I put all of my stuff away and decided it was time for me to get really organized. I'm like an organized mess, so my mess is now away where it needs to be and I can't find anything because it's away. It's a problem that I have. Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in the shade Rose Gold. I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. And we didn't set the lid because I'm putting this cream stick over it. So it'll blend a little bit better. And I'm literally putting this all over the eyelid. Pushing this in with my finger and just dispersing this product out. Just blending it in. So I'm gonna go into my Huda Beauty. This is my 3D highlighter palette, Bronze Sands Edition. And I'm just gonna hop into this Aruba, which is a shimmery bronzer. So I kinda want this to be everywhere. So I'm gonna use a fluffier brush to cover some ground. This is the Morphe M504. Now I want this to be smoky, but I also want this to be light. So I'm picking up Aruba from that Huda Beauty palette and I'm focusing it on the outer portion of the eye because I definitely want it to be lifted. This is a very lifted smoky eye. And I'm just really putting this into the grease. NARS Skin Deep Palette. This is the palette that I can never open and it always gives me a hard time. This brown. I'm gonna take that on a tighter, fluffy brush. This is a Japanese fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna keep this to the outer portion of the eye. And I'm kind of putting it in a V. And these are very, very pigmented, this shadow. So we're gonna have to go and blend this out, but I just wanted the precision of a smaller fluffy brush. With the brush we initially went in with, with the bronzer, and just lightly blend that out. I'm gonna highlight that brow bone, so I'm gonna go into this shade right here, golden highlight, flat brush. I'm just gonna hit that at the highest point and then blend it out. This one, tapered blending brush. I'm going to just put a little bit of darkness right here. And again, we're gonna go and blend. So if it looks a little too stark or patchy, it's okay. same golden shade and I'm gonna pop that in the center of the eye. I'm gonna go in with a coal liner. I'm gonna be using my new favorite, 
gel liner. This is the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon. And I'm going to continue my wing out. So how I'm gonna wing my eye out is I'm gonna follow the bottom waterline and I'm just gonna bring it up. And then I'm gonna start to bring it underneath the bottom waterline, but there is a gap. So I'm not filling it all the way. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect, but do not connect the bottom lash line. I feel like that's something special about this look is that that little snippet is missing. I'm gonna take a lip pencil. I got this off of Amazon. I will link it down below. And I'm just gonna run this over that liner. Smashbox exposure palette and I'm gonna grab the matte black same lip brush and I'm just gonna stamp this over And just like really smoke this out and it's also gonna set the liner Pencil brush and I'm gonna grab this matte Brown right here this chocolatey brown and I'm just gonna go over like the edge of that black liner So this is gonna smoke it out a little bit more. But also like blend it together. First blending brush and I'm just gonna go over top of the crease, of the liner. I want a portion of that wing to be a little bit more defined. So I'm going to go in with a liquid eyeliner. This is not the liquid eyeliner. Hello. This is Joa I'm So Fly liner. This is just a black eyeliner and I'm keeping it very close. Very close to the lash line. I'm going to go underneath the waterline. I'm not going to go on the waterline. And I'm just going to connect that line. And then I'm going to perfect the inner corner with this. Kind of like give that like Egyptian, like elongated eye. An angled fluffy brush. Well, it's not really an angled fluffy brush. It's a, I don't know. It's like a wing. I don't like these fire brushes, but I feel like this might be able to smoke it out. So I'm going to go back into that black in Smashbox and just go over this very carefully and just smoke it out a little bit more. And I'm kind of pulling some of that black in the crease and then like bringing it down. I'm going to go back in with that pencil, smoke the bottom lash line out. But I'm going to go back in with my Marc Jacobs fine liner and I'm going to put this on the waterline right above wherever that black is. wiggle it through my lashes to make them look a little bit more thicker like it's gonna make my lash line look thicker so i'm kind of just like pushing it back and forth onto the waterline and between the lashes i'm gonna go in with a different brush what kind of brush do i want to use this time take this fluffy crease brush i'm gonna grab that same gold shade again i'm gonna put this into the the brow underneath the brow Give that nice shine and I'm going to take some more and I'm going to pat it in the center of the eye. Straighten that up a little bit. Okay, that is one eye on. I'm going to hop off camera and do my other eye and then we'll finish them off. Il Maquillage Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. I feel like this is the best mascara for like a nice wispy volume. It's such a good mascara. And I think I'm gonna do like a really light makeup. I'm gonna do some tart. I'm just gonna put this where I need some coverage. A cosmetics Complexion Perfection Brush and I'm just gonna blend this into the skin. You know, you just want to be a little bit careful underneath the eye because we do have that shadow, but I'm going to go ahead and clean up the edges around my eye. 
I think I want to do a little bit of foundation. So I'm going to take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray to just mist my face. Bring a little juice and hydration back into my skin. Clinique. Chubby in the Nude Foundation in Voluptuous Vanilla. And I think I'm just going to hit this on like the outside of my face. Mm, and this one's done. Okay. Good thing I have a brand new one. Just for like a little bit of coverage. Blend this in. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna powder a little bit and I'm gonna use a lighter powder, Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna take that on this little flat yet like fluffy brush, put some in the lid. This is the travel size one, I love this. And it's pretty long lasting and I'm just gonna run this underneath my eye, just make sure none of that concealer is setting into that any of my creases. And I'm just hitting this wherever I don't like to get oily. So really my T-zone, my smile lines, my upper lip, just because I always get oily there, and my chin. And I'm going to set the perimeter because I did wash my hair today and I hate when my hair gets greasy because my makeup like makes it greasy. So I do like to set along my hairline sometimes, especially when I just feel like hot and sticky, which I definitely do today. And then I just want to go in with a really nice bronzer which for me is the BH Cosmetics Golden Gal Bronzer. I'm just gonna take that on a fluffy brush and just brontour my face. And then this I put along my hairline as well, which will further help to set that area so that my hair doesn't get greasy. So if you are someone that struggles with that, I find that it helps me. It makes each of my washes last a little longer hair washes. I'm going to run it down the nose. Okay, let's go back to the eyes really quickly and just put some mascara on the lower lash line. I'm going to hop it back into that gold shade in the NARS palette and I'm just going to throw this in the inner corner. Anastasia M. Resi highlighter. I'm going to hit this on the highest points of my cheeks down the center of my nose, chin, cupid's bow, just anywhere I want to look wet. For lips, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Natural. And then I'm going to run my finger over that. And then I think I just want to do like a really nice natural lip. So let me grab a NARS. I'm going to do this NARS Little Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Roseland. These are so nice. I'm going to rub this in with my finger. This is what we look like. I love it. I think it's really seductive, smoky. I mean, I would wear this on date night. There's just, I really love a cat eye. As much as I hate doing liner and as much as I bitch about having to do liner, it's just there's something so sexy about a cat eye and any kind of variation of it. And I just like how there's that section missing. I just feel like there's something really sophisticated yet like artsy and creative about this makeup look. So shout out to this Instagram. Great job. Love it. Thank you so much for the inspiration. And I just feel like any makeup look that you do, you always need to make it your own. We all have different eye shapes. We all have different faces. So although it's not exactly like that one, I'm super happy with how this came out and it definitely pulled me a little bit more out of my comfort zone. You guys know I don't love liner, but I love the way liner looks. So I need to get it together and just practice, practice, practice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. If you find any inspo on Pinterest, Instagram, anywhere that you would like for me to recreate for you, please do be sure to tag me in it. I will link my Instagram handle here. Send it to me, message it to me on whatever, whatever works. If you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a great time as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.